start laying down on the floor and we're gonna start on our backs, laying down with the toes pointed straight up towards the sky and the heels pressing into the floor and the hands resting down by the hips. You're gonna press into your heels and try to lift your bum up and off the floor, right? So driving through those heels and lifting hips up and off the floor, engaging as much as you can through the back side of the body and lifting the hips. Make sure you're breathing here. Good, let's go three more. Active through those heels, all the way up. And last one. Good, we're gonna keep that lift going. This time you're gonna bend your knees, facing the feet flat on the floor. Fingertips are right down next to your heels. Yep, abs are engaged and with your outside you're gonna lift. So squeeze the bottom and pull the hips all the way up towards the sky. Slowly lower back down. Exhale, lift. Inhale, release. Toes are really active. Feet stay flat with the arches lift, lifted, and the toes really, really active. So the toes might even lift up and off the floor. That's totally fine. Keep the ball of the big toe and the ball of the pinky toe down on the floor. Squeeze the bum, engage through the glutes, and lift the hips. Inhales and exhales. Good, let's go for two more here on our second one. We're gonna hold it up, all the way up. And reach. Good, keep it up there. Hold the hips, squeeze the bum, press through the heels. Feel the engagement through the backs of the legs. Strong through that lower half of the body. Inhaling, exhaling. Good, keeping the abdominals engaged. Let's stay for three, two, and one, awesome, slowly lower down. We're gonna take it onto a single leg. One leg stays, the other leg reaches. The toes can point straight up towards the sky or the heel can cross over the leg. Either one is totally fine. Check it out and see what works best for you. Slow and steady, press to the heel, lifting and lowering. Good, let's go two more. On your second one, you're gonna hold it up. That's one. And two, hold it up there. Press through the heel. Drive into the bottom of the foot for three, two, and one. Good, slowly lower down. Switch over to that other leg. Foot goes straight up, or ankle crosses over. Either one is totally fine. Abs are engaged. Good, and then lift and lower. Strong through that standing foot. Try to keep the hips squared off, meaning they're in the same plane as your shoulders. And lift and lower. Inhales, exhales. Good, let's go two more. Same thing, second one, leave it up there. All the way up and hold. Breathing. Press a little higher. Good, for three, two, and one. Slow, lower down. Awesome, give yourself a breath. Walk those feet out, and then come up to a seated space. And uh, go ahead and roll yourself over. So you're actually gonna come onto all fours, and stack your shoulders over your wrists and your hips over your knees. We're gonna work through those from a slightly different angle. So what's really important here is make sure that the abs stay engaged, right? You'll see a lot of people doing this work, with their bellies falling down towards the floor and they're reaching the leg all the way up towards the sky, right, and kind of throwing the leg up. But the belly is really relaxed and so what that's doing is placing a lot of pressure on the low back and actually weakening the abdominal muscles, right? So we want to make sure that the abs stay engaged the whole entire time. In fact, let's do that a couple of rounds. And you're going to pull the belly all the way down towards the floor. So as if you wanted to rest the belly button down on the mat and then you're going to pull it up just halfway until you can get the back to flat now. So belly button down towards the floor. And good. So it's almost like a half cat cow. Belly towards the floor. Flat back. Good. Again, belly, flat back. And one more. Inhale and exhale. Good. So now you're going to keep that engagement through the abdominals. You might even check it out with your fingertips. Make sure those abs are engaged. Let's start on the right leg. You're going to keep the left knee down and you're going to reach the right leg straight back, right? And then pull all the way back in and reach. Pausing for a moment up at the top. So remember what 
I said at the beginning, it is all about biggest bang for your buck. We are trying to engage the muscular system here, right? It's not a cardio workout. You can do that on your own. I'm not gonna do cardio today, right? So we are engaging through the backside, feeling the glutes pull the leg up, and feeling the abdominals engage on the front side to help keep that shape. Good, let's go two more. And one more, you're gonna hold it up there. Good, point the toes, pull the belly in, belly went into the spine, and now you're gonna tap the toes to the floor. Tap and lift, tap and lift. Belly stays tight. Good, two more. Reach. Awesome. Last one, hold it up. Hold it up, press through your palms. Pull the belly in. Square the hips. And slowly release. Awesome. Take a breath. And then come on back. Right knee stays. Left knee is going to lift and stretch back. Right, so remember that belly. Keep pulling the belly button into your spine. Almost as if you're about to do a plank. Right? It's kind of like you are doing a plank, actually, on all fours. Good. Knee in, knee out. Feel the engagement through the glutes, through the bum. Good. Last two. Reach. And last one. Hold it up. Hold it up there. Good. Pull that belly in. Point the toes, and now you're gonna tap, tap, and reach, tap, and reach. Good, so the idea here, right, this is a really simple movement, but the more control that you can keep your body, so the more the shoulders can stay stacked over the wrist, and the hips can stay stacked over the knees, and the belly can stay in and the shoulders can stay down, the more you'll feel the engagement. Let's go two. Good, last one, hold it up there. Press through those fingertips. Point the toes. Engage the glutes. Pull the belly in. And then slowly release. Awesome. Take a breath. Good. So we're going to come up to standing, just on the knees. Uh, you're going to stand just like this. So just about hip width apart. Yeah, toes going to be back behind you. And you're going to engage through the glutes. So you're going to tuck the tailbone under, right? Let's do that a couple of times. This is actually what we were doing when we were down on all fours, pulling the belly in. Now we're just taking that same shape and we're doing it up on our knees. So you're going to push the bum out and tuck under. Push it out and tuck under. One more time. Good. Push and tuck. Awesome. Squeeze the bum a lot. Engage through the abdominals a lot. Hands can be on the hips or hands can be up at the heart. And you're going to lean backwards. Good, and then pull back up. Awesome. Good, lean all the way back, squeeze the bum, and pull forward. Good, so it's like your one single shape. <sighs> yep, squeeze the bum. Awesome, reach. <sighs> Good, couple more here. Feel free to adjust this feet. Last two. <sighs> Good, and one more here. Reach. Okay, amazing. So after you're done with that, on the knees, you're gonna stand all the way up so that you're standing tall. You're gonna place your feet just a little bit wider than hip width apart with the feet really active. So the toes can actually wiggle around while they're down there. The knees are soft and you're gonna make sure that the knees are falling in line with your toes, right? So we don't want the toes pointed in and we don't want them pointed excessively out either. Good, so starting with that alignment, we can start with the hands on the hips or at prayer. Either one is totally fine. You're gonna drop the hips back Sitting all the way down and then stand all the way up and squeeze the bum. Good. Inhale on your way down. Exhale. Stand back up. Inhale. And exhale. Awesome. I'll do it from the side so you can see. Setting up the feet, dropping the hips back, keeping the back flat, and then stand all the way up. Squeeze the bum. Good, 
let's go three more here. Inhale. Two. Good. And we're going to go one more time, but this time we're going to hold it down there. So you're going to sit all the way back and stay. Draw your belly button into your spine. Wiggle your toes around. Keep your back nice and flat. Press through the heels. Inhale. Exhale. Let's stay for three, two, and one. Good. Stand up tall. Shake it out. Nice. So now we are going to take a little wider stance. This time it's on purpose though, right? So you're going to step wider, just about uh, outside of the shoulders. So if you think about where your shoulders would be, you're going to step just slightly outside of that. And the toes are going to point toward the outside edges of the mat. And then same idea, you're going to sit all the way back. This time sending the knees out and press all the way forward. Sit back and press forward. Again, the hands can be on the hips or at prayer, either one is totally fine. Inhale on your way down, exhale, press, inhale, exhale. Good, I'll show you from the side again. So my feet are nice and wide, my toes are out, my knees are gonna follow the path of my toes, and then I'm gonna drop my hips backwards. My back is gonna stay nice and flat, and my abdominals are gonna stay engaged as well. Inhale. Awesome. Sit. Yep. Two. Good. Press. One more. We're going to hold it down there. Inhale. Exhale. Wiggle those toes. Drop the bum back behind you. Keep the back nice and tall. Good. Let's see for three. And two. And one more. Good. Stand tall. Shake it out. We're going to do one more thing before uh, we move on to upper body. So you're going to drop into a lunge, one foot forward and one foot back. Nice long line. Let's start with the left leg forward. The right toes are going to be back. The torso is going to be really tall with the bottom of the rib cage pulled under. You're balancing on those back toes. Let's send the arms straight up overhead for this one. And you're going to drop and lower and then all the way back up just until that back knee grazes the top of the mat or the floor, wherever you're practicing. And then stand tall. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. You got three. Inhale. Good. Last one. You know it's coming. Hold it down there. Good. Hold that shape. Strong through both legs. Reach with the arms. Open the breath. Inhaling. Exhaling. Good. Hold it for three. And two. And one. Awesome. Stand tall. Shake it out. All right, so we got that second leg coming around. Right foot's gonna go forward, left toes are gonna go back. Torso really tall, feel free to send that left leg back really far, open up the torso. Reach with the arms, inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale, strong through that front foot, raising just above the surface with that back knee. Keeping the breath steady and consistent. Noticing if you feel any differences between the two legs. Right, so it's totally fine if you do. In fact, you probably will. Good, we're getting ready for that hold. Inhale. Exhale. We got three. That was one. This is two. Good, third one down. Hold it. Breathing. 
Yeah, inhale, exhale, stretch with those arms. Reach with that back leg. Strong through the feet. Keep the breath. Good, let's stay for three. And two. And one. Awesome, stand tall. So we're actually gonna go back down to the floor, to the mat, for one last little thing before we switch it on to upper body. So you're gonna come down to all fours and then flip yourself over onto one side. So I'm gonna stay up on my arm, meaning I'm gonna rest on my knees and my palm. You are totally welcome to come up all the way down if that works better for you, okay? And then we're gonna press. So we're gonna lift the hips all the way up and then this top leg is gonna open up kind of like a clamshell or like a book. The feet are gonna stay tacked, stacked on top of each other and the leg is lifting. So here we're targeting the outsides of the glutes, both sides actually, both legs at once. We still have to do both legs though. Good, so the abs are really tight and the top leg is lifting and you're feeling the engagement through the outside edges of both thighs. So we prime the body with all the glute work. Then we work the major muscles of the legs with the squats and the lunges. And now we're going back and targeting the smaller muscles. Good, we got three more here to fully ground out the leg. Two, good, and one more, you're gonna hold it up there. Good, strong through those legs, try to keep the thighs facing each other, the inner edge of the thighs facing each other. Good, breathe, we're gonna pulse it out, halfway down, all the way back up, halfway down, all the way back up. Good, that's three, four, five, we're going to 10, up, Eight, nine, good, and ten. Awesome. Slowly lower down. Good. So we're going to switch it over to that other side. Right palm can stay. Remember, you always have the option of laying all the way down if that works better for you. You're going to press through the palm and through the outside edge of the calf as you come up, making sure that the body is still aligned, right? So you don't want those sides to come out in front of you. You want to have one straight line across the body. Then you're just going to lift and lower. Good, so exhaling as you lift, and inhaling as you come back down. Exhale, lift. Good, keeping the breath consistent. So every time that leg comes up, there's an exhale, and vice versa as it comes down. Feeling the strength through both sides of the legs. Yeah. Good, let's go too. Good, this time you're gonna hold it up there. Hold it up. Pressing through the palm, keeping those abs engaged. Good, yep. And then we gotta finish off with those 10 little burners, right? Halfway down, up, one. Five. Seven. Yeah, keep it going. Good, good, and Awesome. Slowly lower down. Nice job. Let's get ready for the upper body. 